Hey, chosen ones, I've got a special message for you today. If you know that you're a true chosen one, then you're going to watch this video until the end. Like, listen, chosen one, let me tell you something right now. A lot of people rushed to celebrate your downfall. But now these people have come to realize that they are learning the hard way. <laughs> Like, let me repeat it again for you right now. A lot of people, they rushed to do what? To celebrate your downfall. But now these people, they've come to realize that they are learning the hard way. And what do I mean by that? That a lot of people, when you were down, they were celebrating your downfall. There are a lot of people that when you were down, they were celebrating your struggles. They were celebrating your pain. They were going around talking about you. They were going around talking about your name, talking bad things about your name, telling other people that you are down. And these people, they thought that it was for good. Like these people, they thought that you were down forever, you were down and out. And these people, they didn't know that you were going to bounce back. Like type it in the comments right now and say, they didn't know that I was going to bounce back. Because these people... The reason why they were celebrating your downfall, the reason why they were celebrating the terrible situation you were going through, the reason why they were celebrating your pain is because these people in the first place, they saw you as competition. They always wanted to be above you. So when you were down, it gave them closure that they are better than you. When you were down, it gave them closure that they are doing better than you. Because to these people, it's all about competition. They always wanted to do better than you. They always wanted to succeed more than you. So when you were down, when you couldn't pay your bills, when you were down and out, you were struggling in your life, you are going through pain, you are going through setbacks after setbacks, that, like these people, they loved each and every single of it. Like these people, they loved each and every single moment. They were even having phone calls discussing your downfall. Do you know that? Do you know that there are people that were in phones? Like literally they were talking on the phone with other people discussing your downfall. And they were happy, they were celebrating. This is how evil these people are, chosen one. Like listen, they rushed to celebrate your downfall. Like these people, they thought it was over for you. They thought your life was finished. They thought... You were not going to get back up because you, that situation you were going through was bad. Because that pain that you were going through was bad. Like you were going through a really hard time in your life. And no one was there to help you. No one was there to give you a hand out. No one was there to give you hope. No one was there to give you encouragement. And the same people that rushed to celebrate your downfall, these are the people that, that were close to you. These are the people that knew you. Some of you guys is your family. Some of you guys are your friends, the people that you used to call your friends. And some of you guys are the people that you used to, to be in relationship with, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend. And these people, they rushed to celebrate your downfall. Like some of these people, they are in your name. They are in your neighborhood, they are in your hometown, they are, new, they are your neighbors. Why? Because these people, they didn't want to see you do better in life. They didn't want to see you do good in life. Right? Because all this time you were doing good in your life, you were doing better in your life, you were progressing, you were succeeding in your life. And these people, they hated each and every single moment of that. They couldn't stand that. So they were waiting for your downfall to celebrate. They were waiting for you to go through pain. They were waiting for your setback. They were waiting for you to face terrible situations in your life so that they can go and celebrate. And you know who they are. Because the moment you were going through those terrible moment, moments in your life, when you were down, when you were downfall, when you were facing your downfall, when you were down bad, when you had no money to pay your bills, when you were lost, you had no direction in life, these people, they left your life. Like ask yourself this question, why didn't they help you when you were down? 
Like ask yourself that question. Why didn't they show up for you when you were down? When you needed their help? Because I know for sure that these people, they turned their back on you when you needed their help the most. Like that's what they did. And this thing, it hurt, it hurt you the most. It affected you the most. That the same people that you did everything for, the same people that you will die for, the same people that you help when they were going through their moments in life and now they turned, and now they turned their backs on you. The same people that you take a bullet for and now they turn their backs on you when you need their help the most, when you need their support the most. They left you in your darkest times. They left you in your darkest moments. They left you when you're going through hell. Like ask yourself the question, why didn't they show up for you? The reason why they didn't show up for you is because these people, they were waiting for your downfall all along. They were waiting for your downfall all along. Because now, when you were down, it meant that they are better than you. It meant that it's time for them to do better than you. It's time for them to succeed more than you. It, it's all about jealous. It's all about competition. Mm. Like type amen if you feel this. Like I want to see your comment right now. Type amen if you feel this. Because this is this is real. Like this is real. At least in chosen one, they rush to celebrate your downfall. But guess what? Like these people, they are now learning the hard way. Like type it in the comments right now and say they are learning the hard way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are learning the hard way. And why do you say that, Epic? I'm saying that because these people, they've, they've now come to realize that your downfall was just temporary. Mm. Like type it in the comments right now and say, my downfall was temporary. Because I'm telling you right now, these people, they're learning the hard way now that your downfall was temporary. Because you are rising up, you are no longer down. Like God rose you up from the dead, like Jesus Christ. Like type it in the comments right now. Yeah, I want you to engage with me right now. God rose me up from the dead. Like type it, I want to see it now. God rose me up from the dead. Because I'm telling you right now, God rose you up from the dead. Just like Jesus Christ. Right? When these people they thought it was done with you, that you're no longer going to get back up, guess what? God took you from the bottom and he rose you up. Now you're doing better in life. Now you're progressing in your life. Now you're making moves in your life. Now you're succeeding in your life. Now things are finally coming together for you. Now things are finally working out for you. And these people, they see each and every single thing. They see each and every single progress that you're making in your life. They see each and every single move that you're making in your life. And let me tell you something. These people, they are now going through pain. They are now going through struggles. They are now going, they, they are now facing hard times. Each and every single thing that you're going through when you're down, guess what? These people, they are now going through it. Yeah, I'm telling you, they are now going through it. That pain that you are feeling, that sadness that you are feeling, that depression that you are feeling when you're down, guess what? They are now feeling that pain. Because what goes around comes back around. Like, don't let them fool you. Like I always tell you that these people are pretending to be happy. Meanwhile, they are suffering. That's why, that's why I hate like social media so much. Because people, they can post pictures happy online. But in real life, these people they are really, really, really struggling. They are really, really suffering because of what they did to you, chosen one. And there's no way you can help them. It's over for them. Because the only thing that you're going to do right now in your life, you are going to keep on going higher and higher and higher. You are going to keep on succeeding in your life. You are going to keep on becoming more successful in your life. Because let me tell you something. You have the favor of God with you. You didn't survive all of these things. You didn't survive the downfall because of your own power. But you did it because of the power of God. You did it because of the grace of God. I'll type it in the comments right now and say, I did it because of the grace of God. You couldn't do it all alone. You couldn't do it all by yourself. You couldn't. And now these people, they are learning the hard way. Because they rush to celebrate your downfall. 
but listen that's all from me today if you found value from watching this video make sure you give this video a like comment share subscribe i'll see you on the next video like i always say believe that